thousands of people across the Mahoning Valley struggle to put food on the table, and many end up going hungry. That's why students at one local school came up with a unique way to get involved and help make a difference for people in need. First News Weekend Morning anchor Abby Schrader joins us again live in the studio with that story. Abby. Yeah, some students at Columbiana High School came up with a competition called the No Hunger Games. It's based off the Hunger Games movies as a way to give back to Second Harvest Food Bank. After several years of food drives with little participation, the student government at Columbiana High School decided to try something different, turning it into a competition. Second Harvest, they had um, a lady come in and speak to us, show us like some clips, and it really like touched home to see like you don't really think people in your community um, are suffering that bad, and um, they really are. In the Hunger Games movie series, different districts compete for food. In this case, each grade became a district and the staff a district two and competed to donate the most food with a catch. Every item that isn't a can is positive points. So you want to like build your camp up, put the positive points in, and then um, to like sabotage other districts, you put cans in their thing and those are negative two points. And the results so far have been overwhelming. Every day I just sit there like, oh my gosh, people are just so involved and like people I never thought would donate or care about it have been and we've just had like incredible results. It, it's just shown uh, great school spirit, you know, everyone's coming together, everyone's donating who would never even think about it in the past. For Mandy, who helped organize the entire thing, it's been an eye-opening experience. How blessed we are and how blessed I am, I think it's important to give back and do all we can. Yeah, and the students I talked to say they hope this competition grows each year and becomes a tradition at the school with a different theme every year, too. Live in the studio, Abby Schrader, WKBN 27 First News this morning.